Thank you, Steve. Praise team in helping us to worship God. Let us pray for one moment. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. The scripture today is taken from Luke 13, verses 6 through 9. This is over on page 950 if you're using the Pew Bibles. The New Testament, page 950, Luke 13, verses 6 through 9. Then Jesus told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, see here, for three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? He replied, sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig around it and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. God grant us understanding and by his Holy Spirit guide us in applying these words to our Christian life today. A parable about how we see others how we see ourselves, and how we see God. Perhaps you are a leader of a study group or a life group, discipleship group, and you find yourself at times growing impatient with others. Maybe you've been doing this for three years, And you notice a particular person in the group showing no growth at all. The person continues to speak ill of people, perhaps speaking ill of people from another culture. There's rudeness, there's disruptive behavior to the group. And the temptation is to just give up on that person. They need to be out, (laughs) out of the group. It's not helping us, it's hurting us, and let's just end it. That's that's a temptation, a real temptation for us. This story today just says don't give up. Don't give up on other people. Don't give up on other people when they let you down. Don't give up on other people when they come up against you. Don't give up on them. The gardener could be God in this story. Um, if, If we interpret stories like this in what they call the allegorical way, particular people stand directly for for uh, others, and, and you could look at the gardener as God, God the Holy Spirit, who says of that barren fig tree, let it alone for a time until I nourish it. Give it a chance. Give him or her a chance in your life. Perhaps another chance and another. God says to all of us, I think, be patient. Be patient with each other. God says, be patient with that person that you're coming up against because God says, I'm not finished with that soul yet. And I think God says this to us about ourselves as well. Have you had this conversation with yourself sometimes? You don't sense growth in yourself. You you feel dead. You feel distant from God. You feel as when you pray, there's 
uh, nobody out there listening. You don't hear anything. You don't sense anything. You study and nothing makes sense. People try to help you and you push them away. Like remember the man who came to Jesus inquiring what he, how he could inherit eternal life. And Jesus went through the commandments with him and he said, well, I've, I've followed all of those. But there must be something else. There must be something I'm missing. There's an emptiness in my life. I followed all the rules, but I'm empty. What is going on? Maybe you've been a part of the church all your life. And you've followed all the rules. But you feel something is missing in your life. And what God says to us, what God says to you and me in that case is, don't give up on yourself. I want to nourish you, God says. Be patient with yourself. And let God work in you. Because God isn't done with this soul yet. Don't give up on others. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on God. I remember when my dad and I used to go to Dodger, L.A. Dodger baseball games. I was a kid growing up around L.A. And, and we, would get, we would go to the game and uh, maybe it wasn't a good night for the Dodgers and they got behind. And in the seventh inning, my dad said, let's go. <laughs> let's leave. He was giving up on it. Going, no, I don't want to, I don't want to give up. In fact, I'd, I'd really like extra innings. <laughs> Let's take this as far as we can go. Now, now, true, maybe he was trying to avoid the traffic. I don't know. But um, he'd say, no, nah, nah, they got behind seventh inning. Let's go. Let's, let's give up on it. My mom and dad, God rest their souls, uh, I look back at my own life and remember when I was getting into basketball and I was up into high school and I was getting into other sports and baseball and then I would, I would things might get uncomfortable or, <laughs> or I just didn't like the practicing and I'd give up and I, I look back and I go, Mom, Dad, I, I wish you were, had pushed me a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit harder at certain times in my life. Not a hard push, but just persevere, keep going, don't give up, don't, don't give up, take, take more piano lessons, don't give up, you know, you think back, and, and that's, that's what it's all about, I think, this story today, is it's encouragement not to give up. Think of the writers and the artists many of those that have become great, and in their lifetimes, the scores of rejections that they got before they ever broke through. And great artists that never sold a painting in their lifetime, and today they're some of the greatest artists that we know. Through the whole life, through our whole lives, God says to us, with loving encouragement, don't give up. Don't give up on others. Don't give up on yourself. And don't give up on God, because God never gives up on you. God never gives up on us. Let us pray. Lord God, sometimes when the going gets rough, we just want to pack it in and say, no, maybe another day, but I'm giving up now. Give us that loving encouragement to keep going, to persevere with others, with ourselves, with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
So just before benediction, a reminder, at about 10 minutes after 10, we'll do our congregational meeting to elect the pastor nominating committee. So if at all possible, just stay close, close by. The kids are okay downstairs. We've checked with that. So uh, if at all possible, join us for that very brief meeting at 1010. Let, let's stand and join hands. And now, as we go, let us remember, don't give up on others, don't give up on ourselves, and don't give up on God, for God has never given up on us. God bless you. Amen. Amen.